Hey there world! Um, Alright, so I asked some friends and audience if you guys would like a Penzic haul. I hate doing hauling videos because I feel like a spoiled brat whenever I do like, oh look what I got, but a lot of folks can't make it to Penzic and this is kind of a good way for you guys to see what is offered there vending wise and if you're interested next year you can send money with somebody or hunt these places down online. I'm gonna put um, links and addresses in the bottom in captions. So you'll be able to go to the websites and poke through. I'm gonna warn you right now, a lot of the websites do not have the same products that they offer at Penzik. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm pretty sure you can contact the vendors. They're pretty willing to work with people. I mean, who doesn't want money, right? All right, so I'm going to do my non-dance purchases first. A lot of them are dance related, but they're not clothing, yada, yada, yada. All right, so the first thing I got, uh, you'll have to excuse me because I'm going to be reaching everywhere. I'm kind of surrounded by stuff right now. Um, I got a lantern because I've just re finished redecorating my living room. So I wanted a new Moroccan lantern for the corner. So I bought this beauty from a place called Traders of Tamerlane. They had the most beautiful setup I've ever seen. I turned the corner and there is this yurt which is lit up with a rainbow of lanterns. It was breathtakingly beautiful. All the pictures I took just they didn't do it justice. It was it was magical. There's no other way to explain it. Uh, but this little beauty cost me $22 which was a little more than I wanted to pay but it was worth it. It doesn't really do much when it's not lit up. I mean, you can't really make out the colors, but it's so gorgeous when it's lit up. The colors are so vibrant. Really nice guys who run it. Um, their lanterns run from about $11 up to $50. They do have the website. Um, the lanterns aren't listed at all, but you might want to contact them, like I said. Okay, anywho. So the next stop uh, I made was at the Bee Folk. Um, if any of you follow my blog, you know that I love the Bee Folk. Uh, they've got great products. All I bought from them this year really was honey. Um, I didn't get too much into the bath products of it all, but let's get into that. So I bought honey sticks. <laughs> um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with these yet. I'm probably going to gift them to somebody haven't decided. Um, I bought them originally to gift to my sailor, but I ended up buying him something at Midnight Madness, which was wah. This is Meadow Foam Honey. This stuff is like the honey of the gods. It is ridiculously good. It tastes like roasted marshmallow. Um, the thing about this is they only carry Meadow Foam about every four years, so it's really hard to get, and they had it last year. So I was shocked as hell when I saw it this year. Um, I had to grab my sailor some. He loves tea, so I figured, mm, tea, honey. Alright, so that's all I bought from the Bee Folk this year. Sorry, guys. Uh, your mead was really good, though. Um, next... I made a stop at a place called Bush Creek Woolworks. Uh, they don't have a website, they have an Etsy site though, so kudos to them. Alright, so I had to buy my sailor some new Thai tea since he took my entire stock and fell in love with it. I told him I would pick him up some more. So for $2.50, I got this ginormous thing. Um, it does not say how many ounces are in here. Uh, but it's a crap ton. I mean, this stuff makes so much tea. So hopefully he'll enjoy that. And I also got him some Indian spiced chai tea for $2.75. So really with them, you get a decent amount of tea for what you're paying. Um, it's all natural. It smells really amazing. And then, Nikki, please don't kill me. I bought some little henna cones. Uh, because I have not yet mastered the art of rolling henna otherwise. So, yay, I got two of them. They were a buck each. Nice and cheap. 
Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Okay. I bought my traditional Penzik socks. It's kind of been a thing for me. Every single year I buy a new pair. Uh, this year it was teal and gray. Uh, you get these from the basket man. He sells baskets and socks. That's about it. Uh, Seven dollars a pair. Okay, and I bought... Ooh, I'm almost... I'm out of non-dance stuff. Yay, moving on to the dance stuff. All right, so the first thing I needed to purchase was a new pair of Silk Mary Jane shoes. I love dancing in them. They work so much better than sandals. They don't slide off my feet. They don't break. The only reason I needed a new pair was because I lost my old pair. So I headed to the Pillaged Village where I bought them a couple years ago. And they are just your typical Asian silk Mary Janes that smell like horrible plastic on a Massachusetts subway. I'm not kidding. That is exactly what I think of when I take a whiff of these. They do wear out. I mean, you just have to live with it. In a week or so, they'll be fine. They won't stink anymore. Um, those cost me seven or eight bucks. I don't quite remember. It might have been ten, but they're not horribly expensive. All right, so my next purchase was made at a place called Wonderlust. I tried like hell to find a website for them and I could not find one anywhere so I'm really sorry. They're a really amazing shop too which kind of sucks that I couldn't find a website for them. Ugh. Um, usually I purchase some really fantastic unique coochie pieces from them. I didn't really see anything this year that screamed oh my god buy me um, except I did find these. They're a little different than the normal tribal pieces but I wasn't going to complain, so I got a matching set. They were both of these for $15. Um, I'm working on an awesome tribal belt at the moment, so needed these. I was excited. They matched. Yay. So 15 bucks was spent on that. All right, next. A place called... Where is it on my little list here? Designs by Jay. Alright, so I've been in this place like every single year. I have never bought anything from them until now. So I bought this little set of bells. They're the bells on the string. Um, these are a gift for the my best friend's mother who actually babysat my cats for me. I really need to untangle these, but they are bells on a string for good luck and fortune and protecting of evil and all sorts of great things. Um, I thought they would be a cute little gift. So I got those. Um, I went in there looking for the lace up um, choli bodices. Some people call them lace up vests. This was the only place in all of Penzik that actually had a variety. Everywhere else I looked had like one or two maybe three. No, this place actually had sizes and a selection and large quantity. So I was really excited. They also had the best prices. So I picked up this little beauty. Guess it helps if I uh, flip it this way, doesn't it? Bam! Very excited about this. Uh, it came down between this and a copper one. This one went out. So I was very excited about this. And then while I was in there, I noticed they had circle skirt pants. Like the really huge 25 yard circle skirt pants. I have been drooling over Jez's pair for two years now. I have been drooling every time I have fixed Jez's pair. So I bought a pair finally. Hopefully mine don't rip like hers do, but here they are in all of their ginormous circle skirt pant glory. I was very excited about these. Uh, together she gave me a really good deal. Um, the skirt was 80 I believe originally and the vest was 40 She gave me both for $103. She quoted me 105 but I only had 103 in my wallet. So she gave me both. <laughs> Very happy about that $2 savings. Alright, um, 
made a stop with the spotted pony because I needed leather so I could make my new fire skirt spotted pony has awesome prices I will say that much I bought the last two pieces of leather they had to offer as well to make this little beauty leather skirt it's fabulous this was $24 together for two pieces and the string to lace up the sides. So that was a really good bargain. Um, I get all of my leather from them. I really hate buying from anybody else. They ch tend to overcharge. All right, so second to last stop. I do believe I'm almost out of items here. All right, I went to Marrakesh, which is home of the option skirts and tops aka the ocean skirts that everybody is so fond of so day one i ran in because they sell out of sizes like crazy and i really 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 wanted a short sleeved one in black they did not have any black left i did manage to find a short sleeved option choli in blue which i is very excited about so short sleeves this little number cost me a whopping fifty dollars yeah, so expensive all right so i headed back um to marrakesh on midnight madness which is the wednesday uh, just to see what they had out and i got myself another option top this one is kind of a really funky brownish tealish paisley horrible 60s hippie color but i really like it anybody who knows me well knows i really love ugly patterns and colors from the 60s and 70s long sleeves option doo -doo 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 -doo. this was awesome uh this was on the ten dollar rack so score got that for ten bucks and my other major purchase from Marrakesh. I shouldn't say major because same thing. Did not cost me all that much compared to my other top. Is, gosh, it's all wrapped up. An option skirt in the short style that hugs on the side. Uh, this thing's ginormous. <laughs> it's really big on me and I actually have to wrap the sides around myself twice but you know what for 10 bucks it was totally worth it um miss sewn but you know what who cares you can't tell when i wear it that's all that matters all right so very last place i stopped was a place called sultry treasures i've never been in there before ever um it was kind of like my last whim i was actually looking for the balloon really huge poofy pants i went in there and on their back wall, they happen to have cholis. Now, I'm a choli snob. <laughs> I hate velvet cholis. No offense to anybody else who wears them. Good for you. I don't personally like them. I don't like the way velvet looks on me. I don't like the way it feels. Nope. So, I have a really hard time finding cholis. Um, I'm not the smallest girl in the world. I have a very voluptuous chest. Finding things that fit me choli wise has been a challenge and somehow all of my friends go to Penzik and they come home with cholis and I'm like where the hell did you get these cholis well I finally found some um and really well priced too this is another problem I see with a lot of cholis is you'll pick up choli and it'll be $40 I'm like are you kidding me I'm not paying $40 for choli I am very thrifty so I came across uh sultry treasures and their trolleys are actually $25, which is a really good deal in itself. And then they were still having their Midnight Madness sale. So that was another $5 off of each trolley. So of course, I bought some. So the first one I got was this black one, which is a sleeveless option. And it ties in the back. And I absolutely love it. Fits me great. I cannot ask for anything better. 20 bucks on that one. And then the second one I got is the one I'm actually wearing right now. So let me get up so you can see. Here you go. Very low cut, which isn't a problem for me. 
and turn around ties in the back I absolutely love it fits me great supports me well I highly 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 recommend sultry treasures for all sizes of women get your shoulders from there they breathe well they're they've got a little bit of give to them but they're still very supportive I can't say enough good things about this place oh my god I'm so glad I found them I am so going back next year and buying like five more all right so I think I covered everything let me see my list nope nothing sticking out all right so that's everything um like I said feel free to check out all those links uh, I really did my homework on them and tried to find everything I could um email me with any questions let me know um that's about it all right so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all again soon bye